is uh, coming to an end, uh, but what has the ANC learnt from his terms and where to from here for the ANC under Cyril Ramaphosa? Well, uh, to discuss, uh, you will be joined in our Cape Town studio by political analyst and former ANC member of Parliament, Peter Milani Clavert. Yes, let's cross to her now. Milani, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us and uh, welcome to the program. Uh, if there's uh, one word that is key throughout all of this is delay, 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 delay. What do you make of all these delays? Well, of course, there's now two more words, and that's um, fruitful and constructive, right? Um, which is quite extraordinary words to use. And I have to say, I'm, and it's linked to your question, I'm a little bit concerned because these are spinning words that political parties use. And it sounds to me, and from what we can gather also from the press statement from the deputy president today, as if they're not being able to find a deal yet. They are working at it, but there's no deal yet. And that's why we're seeing the delays. You know, Jacob Zuma is a tough nut to crack, and he is hanging on for dear life. So they've decided to leave the NEC out of this. Are they confident that uh, Suro Ramaphosa may find the way forward? Well, clearly they needed the big gun to come in. They hadn't used him before, so now they had to bring him in and say, look, you need to help now. But I think there was also a slight risk for Sarah Ramaphosa, and that is that he was, we haven't seen the, the balance in the NEC playing out. Um, we know that it was close to 50-50, the split, when the, during Nasrek and just after Nasrek. But the problem is that it hasn't been tested yet. So there's also a slight risk for Sarah Ramaphosa in this because, of course, if the NEC does not go the way that Sarah Ramaphosa wants it to go, it's very, very difficult for him to row it back then. There's talk of a deal and deals. What could these be? You know, it's very hard to know. I mean, it could be a political deal in the sense that, that Jacob Zuma says, I do not want to be prosecuted. It's a difficult thing legally to ensure. It's practically impossible. He can say, I want certain of the policy things to be completed. So that's on the political front. It could also be financial, that he says, I need certain amount of income, etc., to be guaranteed, as well as my legal costs. Um, it's very difficult for us to know, of course, at the moment, because the ANC is not being honest with us in the sense that they are just keep on, we keep on just the only key words we are hearing is this thing about it's fruitful and it's constructive. And frankly, what we need to hear at the moment is that it's decisive and powerful discussions from Sir Ramaphosa's side. Um, we don't need Mr. Gudesa at the moment. We need, we, then Mr. Nice Guy needs to stop. Um, none of this, let's not humiliate him. I mean, he's not extending the same courtesy to the ANC, to Sir Ramaphosa or the top six. Um, they need to take decisive actions now for the country, for the financial markets. You don't think that uh, Deputy President uh, Ramaphosa has got a public face and that behind closed doors that the conversations might be a little tougher? Well, I hope so. And, and I think he, you know, he certainly must have um, a very strong backbone. But the thing is, the nation needs to see it, um, and quite quickly. I mean, we know the the lovely side of Sir Ramaphosa, which we all love, which is what Madiba also saw in him, you know, the reconciliatory side, the fact that he brought us uh, to the point where we had a new constitution. He is brilliant at bringing people together, which is also desperately needed in the ANC at the moment and the country as a whole. What we also, though, now need to see is the very strong backbone. I'm sure it's there. Of course, it must be there somewhere. He can't have come to where he is without it. Um, the question is just why is Jacob Zuma hanging on so, so long? And does he still have some form of a trump card that he's trying to play? Is there something that he is giving to Soro Ramaphosa or saying to Soro Ramaphosa that is making it so difficult for a deal to be struck? We're hearing that... Uh the Secretary General, uh, Ace Mahashule, is uh, joining in this conversation in some capacity. What might that mean? You know, he's the Secretary General of um, the ANC, so strictly speaking, he is sort of the second in charge in the ANC. So that's not 
per se a problem. What is more of a problem is that we know that he is historically a very, very strong Zuma Heights and a Zuma supporter. We know also that he, together with Jesse Duarte, made it quite vocally express themselves on the fact that they think Jacob Zuma should stay. Um, and in fact, in my view, gave Jacob Zuma a lifeline um, on the weekend so that he said, but you guys you know, aren't even unified around this, so don't come here and tell me to resign. Um, I want to hear what the NEC has to say. Um, so I think in that sense it's problematic. It's not per se problematic that the Secretary General of the ANC is there. All right, perhaps finally, when do you think we'll get an outcome? When will this chapter uh, come to a conclusion? The million dollar question, right? That's what we all want to know. And the thing is, we do not know. Um, we, you know, if it was a normal circumstances and we were dealing with other type of politician, I would have said by the weekend, uh, Jacob Zuma should be gone. But we're dealing with Jacob Zuma and he's a tough one. And he clearly doesn't want to go yet. So um, I, I don't know. I mean, the deputy president told us that if we will, they will talk, they will give us some feedback. They will tell us a little bit, at least in the next couple of days days. We know there's an NEC meeting then coming on the 17th or the 18th and presumably if it hasn't been resolved by then the NEC will take a decision on that. Um, and we know we hopefully, you know, we'll have SONA next week and have some better sense then. Um, but hopefully in the next few days we'll have some indication of whether this is going uh, the way that I think the majority of people in this country want and that is for Jacob Zuma to resign. And that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much indeed. That was uh, Melanie Fafoot, a political analyst and former ANC MP, joining us in our studios in Cape Town.